Hi, I'm Robin and I'm an application engineer at Materialize. Today, I will show you how to make non-manifold assemblies. For finite element simulations, you often need non-manifold assemblies between two or multiple parts. In those cases, it's important that the interfacing parts have shared nodes in order to create a realistic loading condition. In this exercise, we will explain how to make non-manifold assemblies, create good surface meshes and convert them into volume meshes. We will also explain how to assign material properties to the different parts using the Materialize Mimics Innovation Suite. We will use vertebrae and an intervertebral disk as examples for this exercise. We'll start with the creation of non-manifold assemblies in Mimics, since we can use masks as our starting point. Choose the masks needed for the assembly and go to the FEA tab, where you can select the Create Non-Manifold tool. Try to make your matrix as square as possible, as this will help create good quality elements. When it's done calculating, right-click on the 3D object and copy it. Open Threematic and paste the assembly. Use the Filled with Triangle Edges option to visualize the mesh. To reduce the amount of details in the mesh, smooth it using the Smoothing tool under the Fix tab. Make sure that the Perform Post Processing box is not checked, as this will have an influence on the outcome of the mesh. Before we proceed with our mesh optimization, we'll want to inspect the quality and size of the current mesh. Go to the Remesh menu and select the Inspect Part tool. You can see in the inspection box that the quality of most of the elements is above 0.5, which means that the mesh is of good quality. To inspect the length of the edges, select Maximum Edge Length as second parameter and change the current measure to the inspection measure. On average, the edge length is around 1.2 mm. We can use this value to predict an edge length to further reduce the number of triangles. This will result in a faster calculation time in the FEA Solver program. Because we have a high quality mesh, you can get a good result with the Quality Preserving Reduce Triangles tool, which you will find again under the Remesh menu. In this case, keep the skewness on 0.5 and set a maximum edge length of 2 mm. This is slightly bigger than the 1.2 mm that we've measured before. For the geometrical error, we are going to use a value around one tenth of the maximum edge length. You can see that the quality of the triangles is preserved and their density has been reduced. If you want, you can further improve the mesh quality of your object using the smooth operation, followed by the adaptive remesh operation. In this case, we are going to check the use compensation box. But you should definitely play around with these parameters to figure out the ideal settings for your workflow. For the adaptive remesh, we're going to use the same parameters. Please note that this step is optional and is just used to fine-tune the quality of a small number of triangles. Now we're going to convert the mesh of our non-manifold assembly into a volume mesh. If you want to control the inner element growth rate, select all the surface sets from the surface list and add them as local entities. We're going to keep the growth rate at 25, but if you want more gradual growth, you can lower the rate to 10, for example. To visualize the volume mesh, we will use a clipping of the Y section to see the internal volume elements of our non-manifold assembly. You can see that the elements gradually grow bigger on the inside. It's time to assign different materials to the non-manifold assembly. Mimix allows a combination of volume meshes for medical images, which helps in assigning case-specific material properties. We are going to copy the non-manifold assembly in Threematic and paste it back into Mimix. Rename the assemblies to avoid confusion. 
hide the volumes one by one to figure out which is which. We'll start by assigning material properties to the L4 vertebrae. In the material assignment window, select the gray value based method. Notice that the histogram is still calculating, but we can already start filling in the material expressions. Each anatomy will have its own material expression to convert gray values in material properties. Luckily, these expressions are widely available in literature for different anatomical parts. Hit apply and, without closing the window, select the L3 vertebrae. For the disk, we're going to use the homogeneous material assignment method. These properties are difficult to distinguish from a CT scan, so only one material will be assigned to the wall disk. With the homogeneous method, you can assign the material properties before the histogram is calculated. Use clipping to visualize the coloring inside of the volumes. Make sure the texturing is on none. Finally, export the volume mesh.